Okay, I didn't know. I don't know what happened in the previous recording, so gotta do it over. But we see SPY. We're in the channel, hitting the bottom of the channel. Okay, we had this violent, some pretty violent uh, price action over the last five days. Uh, so, uh, last five trading days. So we just have to see how this is gonna resolve itself. The volume has been pretty much, you know, you got lower highs in place. Uh, just in this immediate little cluster here, but this is not a continuation pattern based on how the actual trend is looking. So I'm not looking at this to continue or look at a measure move to go to the downside. Um, when I do look at a weekly, it looks okay. Nothing seems overly concerning right now. You do have a pullback, but again, the, the last price action over here has been annoying. And if you want to look at what we were looking at regarding uh, separation of, of trend or, uh, you know, we want to kind of see if we have any layering per se, you see that it kind of came layered in a little bit right here. And I was like, okay, cool. Boom. Popped up. But then it faded all the way back in. And now do we have something that is similar to how we were talking about this kind of creeping and grinding? We want to see how this one plays itself out. QQQ. Um, pretty much same thing. Um, Want to see how this one plays itself out as well. So it's still above, uh, but then it's it's it kind of gets to this motion right here where you start getting a lot of this. It's pretty much just sideways movement. Pretty much from September, you know, on. I mean, this is daily, and it's it's just this is hard to to trade. So again, you might have got the same view here to say, okay, cool, we got a piercing pattern, Japanese candlestick pattern one two three days lower volume and it's just back into not giving any type of separation so we just have to see where this one breaks breaks out uh or where it shows its hand regarding the trend but the weekly still looks intact for the pullback so want to see if something happens for the rest of this week iwm uh actually we were looking at this for saying that we had uh, lower highs and higher lows and it actually broke down so what I would like to see it do is break down further and retrace back to the upside and then I think we could get some some really good movement from here so right now again you see this churning okay you just got this going on down you got another one come up you got another one come down some people look at this as like saying that these are um, topping formations I'm not sure okay again I just want it it's just not trending and again, as corny as it is, the trend is your damn friends. So if there is no trend, either you find something else to trade or you just say, you know what, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll wait it out. So we can see that we want to see that, you know, it's seeing that it's kind of breaking down, which is, which is good. And again, we want to see a breakdown further and then uh, continue to uh, get a retracement on weaker volume and then continue uh, for some more downside movement. Uh, again, no trend, pretty much you could see this going on. Uh, no trend, you had a little breakout, squeezed a lot of people out and they're just waiting. So just, just wait, again, this is a hard thing. You wanna see if it breaks up or it breaks down. Apple uh, is pretty much doing a lot of uh, it's mirroring something quite honestly. I mean, you have these really good runs that we looked at uh, here, this move from here to here, here to here. Now, this was the announcement day. So it's honestly, if you want to really look how crappy it is, has it even gotten out of this trading range of the of that one day? It stayed within that range of that uh, products release date of, of I, uh, was it iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. It stayed within that range of that one day candle. So it has, you definitely don't have a trend. So if you needed anything more than that, you could say, all right, we haven't had really much of a trend since that day. The only you know good side we could say from that is that you have potentially a higher low, but again, we would have to see if it's gonna pop up. And again, it's gap down, gap up, gap down. This price section is very frustrating. So you just have to wait and see where it goes from there. Netflix, um, and Netflix was actually looking like a buy to me, but I, again, the indexes are just not really showing much and it might not be a buy, but you can see that this has not had any separation as well. Uh, you got um, GoPro, uh, GoPro is continuing. I, again, if you're in it, congratulations. 
um, I would just be rolling my stop up tighter because I mean again it's gonna have to give you some type of retracement it doesn't have to be a lot but um, it's gonna have to give you some type of retracement and you've gotten pretty much from here is like 40 percent yeah 46 percent move from this last run up so that's huge and the options have probably paid probably could have made somebody's month or even year uh, if they played it positioned it right and had enough options so uh, congrats on that if you took that but uh, again right here you have um, what how many days up you got what seven days up so again I would expect some type of retracement last time we had that was around here so let's look at when's the last time we had seven bars up or even seven bars seven bars is from here to here and you got even like a little pullback from there so got to be be cautious regarding that twitter twitter sideways um i was actually in tesla tesla got stopped out today um i got in around here so i know people are probably like why the hell did you get in there well i traded at the right side of the chart and it was actually right here and i am a person that if i'm wrong i set my stop and I'm not going to see how wrong I'm going to be. My stop was set and it got hit and I move on to the next trade. So we just have to see how things are playing out. Uh, some defensive names are even looking. This might have looked good, but again, it needs to break above this high. Uh, this would have been a, a small uh, retracement, three bar, four bar retracement to the upside. So we'll see if that one holds. Uh, Pfizer not giving much as well. Um, price line. Um, still looking, I mean, I don't really look at double bottoms to stop anything. So just have to look at kind of see that this one has been trading kind of sideways as well. So the markets are in a kind of a pivotal point right now, and they really didn't show their hand much, um, which I was expecting on Monday. And today it kind of gave a really tight range, um, being that for the past five, six days, trading days, we've seen triple digit moves both ways up. 150 down 250 up 170 something down so this was the first day it was like you know a normal kind of day so i want to see if we get any fireworks tomorrow or at least the trend can continue one way or the other we trade either way we don't want it you know we're not going to be a person that uh wants it to only be bullish or wants it to only be bearish if it shows a hand to a bearish side we'll play that position accordingly if the trend says so but remember uh you don't want to be just see one candle and 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 say that I want to be bearish anything, or I want to see one green candle and be bullish anything. You want to see a trend forming. So keep that in mind and take. Care.